Hello and a very warm welcome to World This Week by Latest Laws. This is our weekly program, so subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified. My name is Monica Rahar and let's get started by having a look at Supreme Court this week. While granting an interim relief to 10 women naval officers who had moved the Supreme Court for grant of permanent commission, but who were scheduled to be released from their services on December 31st, the top court has stayed this order of their release from their services. The Apex Court has issued a notice to the government of Andhra Pradesh in response to a petition which has challenged the prerequisite condition of having three years of standing or practice as an advocate to be eligible to write civil justice exam in the state of Andhra Pradesh. The court in a case has stated that gratuity money of an employee it can be withheld and also forfeited in case of recovery of dues such as overstaying in official accommodation. The top court has issued a show cause notice to a convict who misled it by producing a wrong copy of a trial court's verdict to get a favorable order which had the capacity of allowing him to walk free in a graft case on payment of fine only. The Apex Court on January 4 will hear an appeal from former Indian goalkeeper Kalyan Chaube who has sought election in the All India Football Federation. Now let's proceed to the next segment of our news analysis and have a look at the Delhi High Court this week. A single judge bench of the Honorable High Court consisting of Honorable Justice Anup Jairam in the case of Mohammed Shahabuddin versus State Government of NCT Delhi and another has held that once a prisoner obtains custody parole in a case, he need not to obtain permission from every court where either he is he has been convicted or the trial is pending. The court has directed forthwith the release of a woman from children's home, noting that she was a major and she was married to a man out of her free will and choice. The police had lodged her in the children's home after her father lodged a missing complaint and it was alleged that she was a minor which was eventually proved wrong. The High Court has dismissed a plea for interim relief against a moratorium on opening of new pharmacy colleges for diploma as well as degree courses for a period of five years beginning from the academic session 2020-2021. A division bench of the High Court has issued a notice to Jindal Steel and Power Limited in response to a petition moved by the Reserve Bank of India which has challenged single judge bench order in a matter related to money transfer by Jindal Steel and Power Limited to its foreign subsidiary. Now let's proceed and have a look at the Bombay High Court this week in our next segment. The Honorable High Court of Bombay in the case of Shubham Suresh versus the state of Maharashtra has granted bail to a 20-year-old boy who was an accused under the Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act which is popularly known as the POXO Act and while granting such a bail, the court observed that the purpose of rehabilitative sentencing is to reform the offender as a person so that he may become a normal law-abiding citizen and a member of the community once again and it is also to provide the person involved in such a crime or under such an act an opportunity to once again come back to the mainstream life. The High Court in another case has granted bail to a 19-year-old boy who was booked and arrested for allegedly possessing counterfeit notes. The court has held that mere possession of counterfeit notes, it does not mean that there was an intention of knowingly using the notes on part of the person accused. And hence, the charges under Section 489B, which provides for using of the forged and counterfeit notes as genuine. So, the provisions of this particular section of the Indian Penal Code, it would not be applicable in the present case. Now, in the next segment, let's have a look at the Punjab and Haryana High Court. The Honorable High Court has ruled that the adult couple can live together without the man attaining the marriageable age. The court has said that the couple's right to live together, it cannot be denied as long as they are within the boundaries of the law. Now in the next segment, let's have a look at the Karnataka High Court. 
the high court recently in a judgment has held that a father has a responsibility rather a personal responsibility to maintain his minor child and the same cannot be shunned away by saying that he is working as a coolie it was held that unemployment and less income these are not acceptable grounds when it comes to paying maintenance to wife and children under the mandate of section 125 of the crpc the high court in another case has observed that a fatal heart attack suffered by a driver of a state owned transport corporation while he was on duty this is an accident as well as a personal injury caused to him during the course of his employment now let's proceed with the miscellaneous segment of our news analysis a court in karnataka in the case of air asia india limited versus shri gorif taneja has dismissed a petition filed by air asia against whistleblower gorif taneja for allegedly defaming the company the court while making such dismissal has stated that material facts were suppressed by air asia and also that gorif taneja acted as a responsible pilot by taking up the safety issues with the company on his social media handles The law ministry by virtue of its notification has made appointments of new chief justices for eight high courts these appointments also include the shifting of Andhra Pradesh High Court Chief Justice Justice J K Maheshwari to Sikkim and that of Telangana High Court Chief Justice Justice R S Chauhan to Uttarakhand The Competition Commission of India has sought further details on the new antitrust complaint which is made against Amazon India filed by a group of small online sellers the complaint was admitted by the competition commission in august this complaint it accuses amazon of anti competitive practices like giving preferential treatment to select sellers select sellers like amazon retail where it holds equity shares the government of up has transferred 16 ias officers including hathras district magistrate pravin kumar under whose jurisdiction the case of the 19 year old dalit woman who was raped and murdered it was being handled a city civil court in mumbai has stated that kangna ranaut committed grave violations of the sanction plan by consolidating three flats and covering floor space index free space area into habitual areas of a residence and the court made these observations while rejecting the actor's plea for interim restraint on bmc from taking any action for demolition of the modifications which were so made now let's proceed with the last segment of our news analysis which is the international news khwaja mohammad asif the former foreign minister of pakistan and leading light of pakistan muslim league nawaz was remanded in the custody of anti craft body for 14 days in assets beyond means case he was arrested by the national accountability bureau in islamabad in connection with the charges of possessing assets beyond his known sources of income joint venture partner of infosys in saudi arabia has filed a lawsuit in a california court alleging that the bangalore based it service provider has violated us law on corruption in a significant development argentina has voted to legalize elective abortion becoming the largest latin american country to do so china has formally criminalized doping in sports as its top legislature has voted to adopt to adopt 11th amendment to its criminal law that's all we have for this week the link of all these news updates they are made available in the description box for your kind consideration thank you for being with us and also a very happy new year to all of you